Let's talk about the treadmill. The treadmill's kind of tough. It's a simple action, but it's kind of tough. It's in the corner of the first leg leg mat, and it's in a, uh, you know, it's hard to get to. It's a long way away from the launch area. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. However, if you can get your robot in the right spot every time, so back it against the wall, use the line uh, and, or the line and the wall or have something off the front of your robot that keeps it in the right position to uh, have your wheel or control. I don't know how else you do it without a wheel to spin uh, on and I don't know if driving up onto it is the wisest thing to do. I, I don't, I would have a wheel that's on an attachment that looks something, something like this. saw the, the mini robot, it backed up against the wall and had a wheel that spun uh, with a gear ratio. The one tooth, uh, uh, one, one gear was eight teeth. Uh, the other gear, the larger gear was 24 teeth. So uh, uh, every time that the large gear spun once, the smaller gear spun three times and uh, it, it got it done pretty quickly. Uh, the same gear ratio was on the larger robot um, and, and it got it done pretty quickly too. The larger robot had a stick on the front that kept it against the wall in the right spot to be able to have the wheel spin and move the needle. I don't know how else you would do it without making sure the robot knew where it was at at, at all times. I mean, I think everywhere on the first Lego League field, you should let the robot have an opportunity to know where it's at because that's how you build consistency. So I hope I gave you some ideas with the treadmill. Um, it happens really quick when you get there. I mean, the whoosh, done, and that's 35 points. I hope I gave you some ideas. If you use them, comment down below. When you're successful with the treadmill, comment down below. Tell me, hey, I did it, and uh, good, good luck. I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video.